Johnny, firstly, congratulations. A huge honour to captain Ireland at a Rugby World Cup. Yeah, uh, very, very special. Um, I think four years ago, um, if you told me that I was going to be captain Ireland to this World Cup, um, I half wouldn't have believed you, but I also would have snapped your hand off for the opportunity. So, uh, yeah, very uh, proud and privileged and, um, yeah, just very proud of the group as well, you know, to to have the journey that we've had to date um, has been has been really special and you know the management have been you know amazing along the way and um, yeah we're, we're looking forward to, to finally getting into it now. You're one of three players in the squad going to a fourth Rugby World Cup is it just as exciting as the first one? Uh, yeah arguably more um, when you know it's definitely the last uh, you know for myself Keith and, and Connor um, like we, we've I knew Keith very well in 2011, but I, I barely met Mur. Um, you know, for for the three of us to be to be here again, and obviously, look, we're we're good to to lose Kean um, yesterday uh, from the group. You know, he's a huge part of our group, and um, you know, we're devastated for him. But hopefully, we can um, you know do him proud, and you never know, we might see him out there at some stage. With the squad announcement today, it all gets very real. We depart for France on Thursday, so that excitement within the group is surely building now. Yeah, I think the last few weeks would have been very nerve-wracking for the lads, you know, the guys that obviously you're, you're either battling for your place or everyone's battling for their place, but, you know, you're playing games, trying to impress, but also knowing that if you pick up a, an injury, you're, you're likely out of the World Cup. So it's a, it's a very uncertain time, but I think now the squad has picked. Everyone that's been named is, is fit, fit or close to fit, and, um, yeah, it's, it's a really exciting time now. All eyes now on that opening game in Bordeaux against Romania. We head to Tours, as we said, on Thursday to, to finalise that prep. Yeah, we're looking forward to getting to Tours as well. Um, you know, it's been, um, from what I hear, everyone there has been uh, unbelievably welcoming and, um, you know, willing to help and, and make sure we're, you know, really happy there at our base for, for the next five weeks. And, um, you know, the guys are looking forward to getting there, you know, seeing seeing the place, but, all, you know, getting down to business and all focus will be on on Romania, first game up and making sure we can get off to a good start. We saw last night in Bayonne how the French crowds can be and with the promise of so many Irish travelling over to France, they're going to play a huge role, aren't they, in this tournament? Yeah, the one thing we know for sure is how good the Irish uh, people are going to turn out, you know, no matter where we've been. At the, the World Cups I've been involved in, I remember we played Romania in Wembley in uh, 2015. I think there was 80,000 Irish people in the stadium. It's Wherever we go, we know we can rely on them, and it means a lot to us. Um, but you see it in every other sport, you know, uh, the Irish fans are incredible. So that's something to look forward to. Um, on the other side of things, you know, the position that we're in, we saw it against Samoa the other night that the French supporters were cheering for Samoa. So any neutrals that are there um, are going to be cheering against us. So, uh, you know, we've got to use that as well. I'm sure the group understand the opportunity ahead. Now it's about, as you say, getting down to business and grasping it. Yeah, it's all, you know, I think we've changed our mentality over, over the years that we can talk about looking forward to it and, and going and attacking it and not being pressured by, you know, having a high ranking or, you know, having an expectation on us. We, we've had expectation on us for the last 18 months and, and we've lived up to some of it. Um, we're still not where we want to be um, over the last few games, definitely. Um, but even at the back end of the Six Nations, we feel there's there's more in us and there's better performances in us. So we, we're still searching for that and trying to unlock uh, what, what can get the best out of us. Thanks, Johnny. Best of luck. Thanks.